So I just got the iPhone 15 Pro, which has Wi-Fi 6E, and I did some speed testing. And I showed that the Wi-Fi 6E is about twice as fast as the old iPhone 14 Pro's Wi-Fi 6. Now, the true advantage of Wi-Fi 6E in the business environment is it's gonna give you a more dependable connection. The added speed is nice, but you're not gonna be competing with all the other Wi-Fi devices that are on 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, and you'll have less latency. Apple has a real push for augmented reality, and the Vision Pro headset is going to need Wi-Fi 6E, and it's gonna communicate with the iPhone also. Now let's see what that translates to in an application. I'm gonna download the UHD version of Top Gun. Again, I'm gonna download a 4.6 gigabyte file from Voodoo, and the top one is the Wi-Fi 6E, the bottom is the Wi-Fi 6. Let's see the difference. This is still a relatively small file. It's highly compressed. If it was a full 4K Blu-ray, it would be about 50 gigabytes. And why would you wanna download a 4K video to your phone? Well, because you can cast or airplay it to a 4K TV, let's say if you're on vacation. Now, iOS 17 just came out. It's not fully optimized, and I don't expect all these applications to be optimized. They're gonna get faster, but this is just a first look. So the Wi-Fi 6E version is almost 70% done at this point. The Wi-Fi 6 is only lagging behind by about 10 or 20%. And again, you're gonna notice a difference with Wi-Fi 6E and the lower latency and less interference. Your applications are just gonna load faster. But as far as downloading a large file is a noticeable, but not a huge difference. There you go. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos about Wi-Fi and tech products.